you, you saw me bowing down to such a little boy. I advise you go back to sleep, dream again. By the time you come back, you will see that he is the person at my feet, bowing to me while I am on the throne. Father Isaiah, I am very sure of what I saw. What you should be thinking now is to how to prevent it from happening. Yes, Father Isaiah. He is right. Even if you don't believe him, just think about it. In case anything of that nature occurs, what will you do? For the first time, I am disappointed in the two of you. I thought you were more intelligent. Eh? This is not an issue of intelligence. At least, let's be realistic. Realistic about what? Eh? About what? As far as I'm concerned, this discussion is over. I'm done with it. Are you saving us out of your office? If you like, you go. If you like, you stay there. Okay. Okay. If you like, you go. If you like, you stay there. I am here to see my one and only Father Tim. So can you just get out of my way and stop fooling yourself around me? Excuse me. Father Tim has instructed me not to allow anyone to come and see him. Please. He's in a prayer session. So I will advise you to leave and come back next time. Next time. So when will that be? I don't know. Don't maybe know. maybe three or four days. Or even one week. You're not serious. Excuse me. I'm serious. If you dare insist on going in, I will call others and I will throw you out. Please, better respect yourself and leave. Mm. We'll make sure I deal with you. Rubbish.
When did it become your duty to determine who visits this parish? When? Huh? What's that? It's... But what? Eh? Huh? But what? <laughs> now listen. Remove your stupid mouth from anything. Even, they could not even see me coming. So I quickly walked out. Do not be with you. And it's very good. Because you know very well that if they had seen you, you know what that means. It's big trouble. Thank God for blinding their sight. I could never imagine that. Such a thing was going on in this parish. Good afternoon. May the Lord be with you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Please. I never imagined what my eyes saw. That's what my best for you. The Father, what do we do now concerning the Imara art? lady who has been visiting Father Tim all the time. And uh, when we tried to draw the attention of Sister Esther to it, she didn't pay particular attention. As a matter of fact, I think she knows this girl. Are you serious about this? Father, would I play about a thing like this? Of course I'm serious. Don't worry, I will discuss it over with Father Isaiah. Father, please, you really have to do something about this before it gets out of hand. So, what are we going to do now? For this particular girl, visiting Father Tim in his privacy, I think it would bring shame to us. No, it's not going to bring any shame to us. How do you mean? I thought we've settled on this issue. And I'm here saying that things should be left the way they are. Yes. Sister Esther. 
What are you cooking? I'm making jello fries for Father Tim. Oh. So I'm dishing it out right now. That's very kind of you. But I'm sorry, you have an emergency call now. Ah, from who? Uh, ah, that's Yes, it is. It's a special reverend thing. Okay. But I desire. Uh, uh, desire is requested to your presence. Really? I oh, hope there's no problem. I don't think there is. Just let me serve him. Since you are finished here, let me serve him. Thank you very much. Uh, make it snappy, though. I have Thank you. Imagine that little boy, that non-entity, that good-for-nothing idiot. He wants to show me that he's tough, isn't it? I know what to do to him. And by the time I get through with him, he will know that no one says no to my requests. Nonsense.
hand that has been grown. Why is this saying that no weapon formed against me shall prosper? And the name of Jesus Christ is a traitor. I command you to stand aside. I command you to stay in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you get up and go. I cast you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy God, fire! Holy God, fire! The blood of Jesus is against you. I command you. Jesus Christ, let me pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, thank you for winning this battle. The battle is yours, oh God. And I know that the battle is yours and you have won it. You are the ancient rock of ages. Even before the making, the making of this earth, the making of any oracle or any deity, Lord, you've been there. You've been there. You created the, 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 the dark. You created the deep. You created the light. You created the sun. I thank you, Jehovah, because it's your doing and it's marvelous in my eyes. Thank you for the anointing, oh God. Thank you for the anointing that broke every yoke. Please, um, could you accompany me to that Ichi's house? Of course, Father. Good. Let's go. So, what exactly did you say I would do for the oracle? <laughs> oh, yes. There are things you must do. For you to be free. I am still Onyoma, the son of Amade. My father is a big masquerade that interprets all interpretable. Onyozi, if you can fulfill all these items that I'm going to mention now, you will be free. 
12 tubers of yams, two white beds, one big goat. You need to fulfill all these items. That is the only reason for me to take you to the shrine. know why I'm asking, right? Yeah. I am asking because I am sure you're the one that took him wherever he is. So I'd like to know, where is he? You want to know where I took him? Yes. I don't have an answer to your question. Please come back here. I said, where did you take him to? Are you deaf? You think you can just walk out of me like that? Oh, you tell me where you took him to. Oh, you want to be here? You think you can slap me? Oh, what is happening here? Why did you slap her? Sister, I just slap her. Actually coming to see you. Because he didn't tell you they are coming. Yes. Ah, yes, yes, it's urgent. It's urgent. Sorry for that. Pardon me, please. Uh, please, meet um, Reverend Sister Uche. Father. Father Thomas, can we see a minute? Yes, sir, please. Privately. I don't understand all these things that are happening. I, I am so devastated. Father T, don't worry. I'm sure Jesu Christ will see you through all these trials. Remember he suffered so many things when he was here on earth. So be strong and of good courage. He will see you through. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Well, you see, there's something I'm thinking about. And I will do it by the grace of God. I want to visit the mountain and pray serious prayers, seeking the face of God over all these happenings. Let me go with you then, so we can pray together. I wasn't expecting this from you. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. I, I will let you know when the time comes. Grazie. 
Father Tim is in a serious trail. You mean in his new parish? Yes, so the kind of attack he's passing through in that parish is something else. The, the worst of it all are the reverend sisters in that parish. Something else like what, Sister Mary? My dear, you needed to see the way the reverend sisters <laughs> antagonized me in that parish the first day I went there with Father Tim. <sighs> I wonder how he's coping in that parish, yo. Oh, wait, don't you think we should pay him a visit? Yes. You know how he's doing. That's a very good idea. Because I feel so bad. All these things you're saying, I don't understand it. <laughs> it would be nice, but considering the kind of sisters in that parish, <sighs> one doesn't know what they are up to. Uh-uh, Sister Mary, come on. You sound like they have vultures in that parish as sisters. As long as we're going there for good, I don't think there's anything they'll do to us. Yes. We really need to go and see Father Tim, okay? I'm really concerned about him. Sister Mary, we understand. But we need to visit Father Tim because he's a good man. We need to support him. Okay, sisters, I will see you girls later. Let me go to the Blessed Sacrament. It's, okay. it's all right, Sister we'll Mary. See you later. Right. When were you absent from the I noticed that you were nowhere in the parish. I thought we have told you the rules and the regulations of this parish, which include you not going out except you are on errand from us or the council. Fathers, with due respect, I only went out in search of information so that I can know how to go about the tremendous attack I'm having in this parish. Why did you go out for the so-called information when we told you not to go out? It's because you're stubborn. And because you're stubborn, you are causing problems for yourself. How am I causing problems for myself? You are causing problems for yourself. And that is the reason why the honor of the wish is to you. That's why. That's why. Who kind of a, a little fella are you? Very stubborn. Why did you start to obey rules and regulations? Eh? He can marry me. He can marry me. I'm not going to get married. We're not going to get Eh? So you can't come here and die back to us. Hmm? We will deal with you. Parenting. Why do you come for this meeting without my approval? Even when you know I am the head priest of this parish. Father Tim, you have developed wings that you cannot come for a meeting in this parish without first of all informing us. Father, just say, please come down. I have to explain. Explain what? In fact, there is nothing to explain. Listen, whatever meeting you are having here cannot hold, and as such, it is hereby dismissed. And you, Father, your various parishes. Have you had it? Go back to your various parishes. Look at the young father deceiving you people. Eh? Let me ask you for a thing. You can marry me. You can wear my name. I'm not going to marry you. Don't come here and challenge me. Go to your various parishes. To put them up over in my finger. To put them up over in my finger. Please, I am sorry, sisters. You cannot go into the parish now. 
place, sister. Why is that? Because we don't allow strangers into our parish. Holy Mary. Are you calling us strangers in this parish? You don't worship here. Neither do you work here. Are you not a stranger? <clears throat> uh, sister, as you can see, we're Reverend Sisters from Father Tim's former parish. Yes. Please, we just want to see him. Exactly what I'm saying. Or oh, are you dead? You cannot see him. Just go back from wherever you're coming from. Mm -hmm. You can't see him. disappointed in you, Father Tim. How could you, how could you bring in a lady inside their bedroom? How could you? Your Lordship, I didn't do it. My God, well, how could I? Then who is that lady that visited you? Your Lordship, I did not bring any woman. I did not bring any lady to my parish house. 
It is only the reverend sisters and fathers that visited. Father, Father Isaiah with Sister Esther and Ruth testified here that there is a particular girl that has been visiting you consistently. And you are here in You are here in Anyway, you are hereby suspended from all such activities until you prove your innocence. So be it. The truth will be revealed. Our blessed lady will vindicate you and prove you are innocent of all these accusations. Thank you very much. You're a friend indeed. Thank you. Father Tim. Yes, Your Lordship. I'm asking you. Who is that girl that visited you in Paris house? Your Lordship, like I said earlier before, I had never allowed any girl into my parish house. Except the two reverend sisters that visited me officially the other day. Yes. Our Lordship, what is said is nowhere near the truth. Why don't we invite the girl so that she can say the truth? Yes, Your Lordship. I strongly support Father Isaiah. Let's send for the girl. Uh, in that case, uh, let's summon the girl. Summon the girl to come here immediately. Young lady, answer the question first. What's the meaning of this delay? A simple question that requires a simple answer. So, who is he? He, he, he is my... Is he a what? He, he is my boyfriend. I'm so much disappointed in you, Father Tim. So much disappointed. A whole you. A whole Father Tim of all priests. The charismatic and vibrant Father Tim. You are a disgrace to this robe you are putting on. And to the priesthood in general. Now listen very carefully. You are hereby suspended. To put them away my finger. To put put away my finger. As it you as it you want my body. Now 
all I can do when me remember is it was a But don't worry. God will surely fight for you. John, thank you very much for believing in me. May the good Lord bless you. You too. Our God will vindicate you. If I sorrow, if I sorrow, maybe. If I sorrow, if I sorrow, maybe much more. I can't give my nest. I can't give my song a rat.
Innocent, oh God, fight for me. For you are the God of innocence, oh God. Let there be confusion in the camp of my enemies, oh God. Let there be confusion in the camp of my enemies, oh God. The King of Glory, the same yesterday, the same today, and forever. Lord, I cry out to thee, you are my answer, oh God. I saw your son, your moment, oh God. Let there be confusion in the camp of my enemies. Jehovah, you called me into this, oh God. I never negotiated this with you, oh Jehovah. They know you will not be put, I will not be put to shame. I can never be shame to shame in the year. Oh, you can never be cause the enemy, oh brother. Hear the cry, oh Lord of the innocent. Hear the cry of the helpless, oh God. I pray that I'm ready to sing in this moment, oh God. We commit our innocent father to you, dear Holy Ghost. Father, come and put every point that Father takes this innocent. Holy Mother of God, come and vindicate your son. Father, come and fight for him. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Punishment. 
everything about woman is sweet except you overdo it. We take a little of um, southern herbs, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. little of uh, robin and onion, mm -hmm. little of uh, the little, little, little by little. Let me mm -hmm. to me. Little by little. Don't mm -hmm. do it. Hey, how much trouble comes? Problem? Nah. Uh, Hold on. Let me just break it down for you. Let it not be as if I don't know what I'm doing. I understand that Father Tim has been suspended. But one thing he has failed to understand that the Reverend Father is a Reverend Father any day, any time. You can suspend him, but you cannot sack a Reverend Father for life. He has been ordained, he has been ordained. But listen, what I am hearing in this community is something that is quite disheartening and something that is not okay with me. People do not understand the need. They don't know why Reverend Sisters are in that parish. Now, let me educate you. I'm just coming back now. I just went to get some herbs and leaves for my father so that we can cure some people in the house. I decided to join my father in this visit because I believe in sanity. I am a son of a hustle. I don't lie. I tell people the truth. Now, let me tell you so that when you get there, you tell people the truth. The Reverend Sisters you see in that parish, in as much as whatever they are doing, I don't care. But I must tell you the truth what they are doing. They are managing the school and that parish. That is the reason they are there. But apart from that, there is no need for you to see Reverend Sisters in a parish where you... That, what are they doing? The only good thing they are doing that I'm telling you now is they are managing their school. That is the reason. So that when you get out there, you tell people what they are doing. So that people will stop gossiping that they, they, they are doing that. They are, they, they, they are. That's not my business. But I debated because but, I need but, to... But, 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 you know all this. You never hear. To be a reverend father, we are here cutting leaves. I am not ready to stay in my life. Oh, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, let's go, I bet. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Those sisters in the parish have succeeded in suspending for that team. I don't get you. As far as I'm concerned, every sister cannot suspend a reverend father. The suspension did not even come directly from them, but at the cost of the suspension, accusing him of adultery or whatever. But is it true? I am not interested in your greeting. The only thing I'm interested in is the gossip. I am so much interested in gossip. Have you been able to ask yourself why God created the man in his own image and made the book come out of the rip of a man? Have you asked yourself that? You like gossip, destruction. A whole lot of people in the Bible has been destroyed because of you people. When I say people are evil, I don't know. You are gossiping about Father Tim and the Reverend Sisters in that parish. I may not know too much about Catholic Church, but I'm telling you to your faces right now that you should know the reason those Reverend Sisters are living in that Catholic Church. There is school there, and somebody must manage that school. And that is the reason those Reverend Sisters are there. I'm not a Catholic, but I'm telling you to your face, you should stop gossiping. Stop this your nonsense, church and church, it doesn't help. nonsense. I am on you, man. The son of a masquerade. And I'm telling you that I believe in truth. I know my look at me. These are the things we use, herbs. Sometimes we buy it, sometimes we go to the bush and get them for us to cure people. Stop this your blabbing. It is not going to help you people. If you want to know who you people are, I am advising you to go and read Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26. You might be surprised I'm quoting Bible. 
and I found something better than death. A woman. Please, Father Tim, tell me the direction to your village since you're no longer in the parish. You're not in the village. Ugunso. Stupid girl. A poison. Therefore, that's what you are. Biambweke. Who are you calling names? You, of course. You and your mother have succeeded in raising false accusation on for that thing. Wait, wait, wait. Who gave you the audacity to call my mother names? Of course, she's a very stupid woman. Hold my mother a she stupid woman. She is a stupid woman. What can you do I about it? I will show it? you what a daughter of a stupid woman can do to a stupid girl like you. What can you do? Consider it well because I want to make my own marriage official. I pray so because I want to enjoy my husband like other women. <laughs> it must surely come to existence. Amen. Amen. At least it will save us from the shame of immorality in the life of our young priest, the seminarians, even in the convents. So, Pope must surely consider this. Honestly, Mama, they should. They should. Because my girlfriend in school then was telling me how she was dating a reverend father. And she was telling me how, how romantic and lovely he was. So let the Pope stop these hide and shop matters. They should come out openly mm. and be a real man. <laughs> I'm praying hard. I'm praying very, very hard. We are also praying to work. There's something I want you to do for me. What could that be? I would want you to accompany me to see Father Tim. Father Tim? Where is he? Did he go to his village? No, um, the last time I think we spoke, he said he was at Ugonso. Oh. So I would want us to go join him in prayers. Okay, okay, it's okay. Uh, I can go with you if that makes you happy. Thank I can you. go with you. But I don't know about Sister Rose anyway. Come on, sister. I'd love to go with you, but you have to take permission from the parish priest. It's true. It's very true. But I'm very sure the parish priest won't say no. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Father Tim is involved. So let's go. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Stupid question. Stupid question. 
Who says that? Yes. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Huh? Oh, look. How dare you? Sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat renium tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celu et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Se libera nos. You quit if you can't be a reverend father because I can see that very soon you will be facing the wrath of God. Both of you. Relax and celebrate the high mass because the Bible tells me that whatever you do to the least of your brother, that you do to God. But I can see the level of iniquity revolving around you, Father Thomas. This is the appointed time. You, you two, repent. Repent. For you first, the wrath of God. Mama! Papa! How are you? You're welcome. I'm welcome, my son. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't wait to become my father. You're welcome. You're welcome. Papa, nice to be ordained priest. Oh, my son, you really made me proud. Thank you, Abba Father King of So from now on, I, mean, ah. I have a reverend father in my house. Yes. Oh, Lord. Hi, God. 
Thank you. You're now Papa Father. Exactly. Hey. Exactly. Hey. Hey. And me too. I am now Mama Father. To God be the glory. Wash out. Hey. Now always wash my stain. Mama, where are you? Hey. Mama. 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 Hey. Imagine. To do anything with a priest, I can't. Come on, come on, baby. You know, I treasure you most. It's better we end it now. Let's no, just stop, end stop, it stop, now. Stop. I said, no, I love you. And I always love you. Stop it. Stop crying. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You are breaking my heart with these your tears. Come on, it's okay, baby. Please. I want you to know one thing. Just know that I will never stop loving you no matter what. <laughs> Baby, stop. Okay. I don't want to be a priest. Eh, boom, one. You're going to have a shit. Eh, boom, one. You're going to have a shit. Eh, boom, one. You're going to have a shit. Eh, boom, one. You're going to have a Madi Abuchigu. Madi Abuchigu, is it not your name? Look, let me tell you. If you have to betray me as your own father, look. Oh God, let me tell you. It will never be well with you. Now, you see the uh, bishop and all the congregation, they are, they are now waiting for your ordination. And you are here. Papa, being a priest is not by force. Hey! I must get married to you. Stop there. You've caused me a very big pain. You've defied the, the moral rectitude of my family. Upon all my efforts to see that you are ordained the priest, you turned it down. It will never be well with you. And you will never see peace in your life. Sagusi go, 
to me at this time of trial I am very very grateful thank you father I also want to ask for one um, favor yes what is it I want you to join me to Umabani community so that we can collectively destroy the deity that has been disturbing me in my dreams 
and I have taken the peace and tranquility of that community. Father, is that what you plead for? We are with you, Father. Church. Father, see, we will always stand by your side. Church. Yes, Father. See, I, I feel like crying. I don't know how I can thank you all. You all are my beloved ones. And our God that we serve will not fail you. Amen. He will not fail you. Amen. If I sorrow, if I sorrow, maybe. If I sorrow, if I sorrow, maybe much more. I can't give my nazi. I can't give my usa. So after dating Father Isaiah for years, he switched over to Sister Sarah. Does it mean I'm no longer beautiful? <sighs> Whatever his intention is, I must implicate him. But wait, oh, he's the head priest of this parish. Implicating him will be difficult. Except, yes, I know what to do.
life in the city. And you are as wicked and heartless as your daughter, Robert. Because you have slept with Sister Sarah. That's why you think you can stand up and talk to me. Let me tell you, it's advisable for you to just you. Taste your woman. Taste that chin. Taste your A window. Even Banga! Those things are the ones that you send me to Hellfire. You will end up in Hellfire. Let you marry her. You will end up in Hellfire. Hellfire will be difficult because once I'm in the midst of all these suits, if he tries to enter, he will say, Why am I? He tries again to enter. Banga, Banga, yeah. Fake Reverend Father. Fake, that's what you want. He can marry me. Fake Reverend Father. He can marry me. Fake Reverend Father. I'm marrying me again, I'm marrying me. Fake Reverend Father. I'm marrying me. I'm marrying me. I'm marrying me.
call your name. There is none like you, Father. Even the same today, tomorrow, and forevermore, you change yet not. I bless you, my King. I glorify your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Hallelujah. Amen. Your face, you committed, is very scandalous. It's against the belief and doctrine of the Roman Catholic Church. On the order from the Pope, you are hereby expelled from the priesthood of Roman Catholic Church. May the Lord be with you. One million naira. It is to apologize to you and plead with you to come back to your parish at Omo Abali. This time, as the head priest of the parish. Congratulations. Hoc de spiritu sancto, sin differentia discrezioni sentimu. Interpretation to it. Father Tim, I thought you prayed over it. I did, my lord. But something still tells me it has to do with my transfer to Umabani community. Father Tim, yes, my lord. I don't expect you, a Holy Ghost filled father like you, a vibrant Holy Ghost filled father. Be afraid of going on transfer to anywhere. As a matter of fact, I decided to send you there because I believed in you and I know how charismatic you are. So, Faratim, be steadfast and always believe that the 
Lord Jesus Christ will always come to a rescue. Whatever obstacle may meet your life, He's there to help us. He'll make a way for us. Thank you, my Lordship, for your fatherly advice. Thank you. Let me take my leave now so that I can prepare for tomorrow's journey. May the Lord Jesus Christ guide and protect you on your journey. Amen. Thank you, my Lord. Troubles you. It's my transfer to my Bali community. It's 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 okay. It's uh, what really is wrong? I feel some sort of depression each time I think about it. I don't know why. Um it's okay, Father Tim. Just believe you're going there with God, our Holy Mary and the host of heaven. You have nothing to be afraid of. Absolutely nothing. The Lord is your strength. I believe you. You'll be fine. But can I ask you a question? Yes, please. Can you come with me? Uh, Father Tim, you know I would love to. But it's not possible. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Father Tim, you'll be fine. Our Holy Mary will be there with you. And I will keep praying for you. Okay? So, have you packed? So, that is the issue at hand. So, how do we stop it? Yes, this is the best time to wear our thinking cap. I mean, we must not fold our hands and watch Roman Catholic doctrine. I mean, we've labored to keep this doctrine for many years. There's no way we allow it to be destroyed within a point of an eye. Impossible. So, we will select from among ourselves some delegates who will convey our message to the bishop, who will pass it on to the Pope. Do we all agree to that? Yes, we yeah. agree. Yes. yes.
They shouldn't allow this to happen, no. They shouldn't allow it to happen at all, at all. Allow what? Uh -uh. To think that I will live all my life without a man wearing this cloth. Mm. And then suddenly, they start allowing my, my junior ones to get married. No, now. That's not fair. It's not going to happen. Honestly, Sister Esther, you have a point. This is unfair. It's unfair. Look at us. We lived our lives as spinsters, serving the Lord. We don't give him birth to a child or even children that will take care of us during our old age. And now the Pope wants to do this to us. <laughs> Sisters, it's unfair. This is man's inhumanity to man. Sisters, I think we should take things easy. You know, I think we should take things easy and find a way to stop this mess from taking place. If not, it will definitely be a big slap on our faces. I would, be, I would rather die. Ah, no, now, not too much now. Oh, I'm you see, my, my heart is just broke. Eh? How can this friend? What do you think? Well, you you have to change everything. It's done my own. How can they change it? Eh? <laughs> Mwemna kaya rina juwa Ezi monso uche muche bemo Epe kwa la kandu wa mire mar Ezi monso uche muche bemo Ezi chimo 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 Ezi chimo kwa kisi mozi Ewe kwa la kandu wa rio chitogi Chimo Atoni motu Atoni motu chiku Chimo Kepe mu Ewe kwa la kandu wa mire maru Ewe mna chiseki Tupune mamu wa ima ifengabu in prayers because even Jesus Christ our Lord went through trials and temptations doing his ministration work on earth so who are we but one thing I know for sure father team is that the Lord who sent you there will never abandon you amen amen thank you sister Mary you are indeed proven to be a friend indeed 
Thank you once again. You're welcome, Father Tim. Um, you see, I will have to go with you to know your new place in case there's any need for me to come over and help. Um, but I have to come back today because um, I don't want to miss out on any church activity. Sure. Thank you, Thank you This is unbelievable. A shrine? A big shrine? At an entrance of a town? In our era? Cool. I smell battle. Father Tim. Our Holy Mary will see you through this in Jesus' name. Good afternoon, sister. Who asked for your greeting? Eh? Were you sent to this parish? Sister Mary, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, Father. What did you say to her? Nothing more than greetings. That's serious. Well, let that not bother you. So long as you never offended her, okay? Yes, yes, yes. I remember Reverend Okafo. Oh, yeah. yes, that's Reverend Okafo. Yeah, okay, so let's go to a quarters, yeah. Father, this place is lovely. Of course, of course. I'm so happy for you. Yes, definitely. Oh. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. 
assume of its appearance. Peace be to you. You are welcome to our family. Uh, my name is Reverend Sister Esther. And these are sisters Sarah and Ruth. And I see. Thank you very much. Thank you. You can sit down, please. Thank you, Father. And who are you? Um, my name is Sister Mary. Father Tim and I were in the same parish before his transfer to this beautiful parish. <laughs> so I felt it wise to come know his new place in case there's any message. I see. That is the most equally act. Yes. It's an ungodly behavior for a reverend sister to leave her parish and follow a reverend father to his new place of work. I'm sure that her mother Mary must be disappointed at this ungodly behavior. Um, but mother, I see nothing wrong with it. Father Tim is just a friend. Exactly what you're saying. Making friends with the opposite sex for a reverend sister is bad. That is if you know the true meaning of the dress you're wearing. That's how it should be. Yes. You are still young and vibrant. We yes. won't allow all these youngers to come here and then you know, distract you. No. Anything you want, we are ready to take care of you. Take care of you. Take very good care of you. Anything you can just call us. Whatever you need. Come here, it is. Welcome to our parish. Father, you're welcome. Father, you're welcome. Father. You're welcome. Father. You're welcome. Father. <laughs> We can now see the left block of the party, this young boy saying, mm -hmm. I want that. Mm -hmm. I want that. Imagine a reverend sister of the Catholic order following a priest to his new place of work, all in the no name of friendship. Do you know she did not even show any remorse when we were talking to her? When we tried to go show her, she did not show any remorse. I began to wonder what would happen if people like this. I give him permission to have life partners. Hey! Oh. I personally, eh, I will have a heart attack. No, I will die. I will die. <laughs> now, see what we're going to do. We are going to keep a watch over him and make sure he doesn't drive away the spirit of God from this parish on account of adultery. No. Yes. No. Adultery. Sister Esther, we are going to prepare a roster of who will be cooking for him. God. And it is restricted to you, the Holy Sisters. Mm. Consider it done. Okay. We may now go in peace. Okay.
I don't need much. I don't need much to chew. Chew more, chew more. If we pull like a do, I may rain my room. It may not just be. To put them on my way, my finger. To put put to my my finger already. I see chew more. Father, please, my mom has been sick for over a year now. Please, I need your help. Okay, um, you need to do a midnight prayer. Two days midnight prayers. And while you're doing that, you have to read um, Psalm, Psalm 51, Psalm 1 to 1, Psalm 1, and can I see for a moment please? Just keep your greeting to yourself. I hope there is no problem, sister. All would have been well if you did not allow the devil to use you as instrument of distraction. I don't really understand what you're talking about. What is this whole talk all about? Now listen to me. Let me make it point clear to you. I don't want to see you anywhere around Father Tim again. If I ever catch you, I'm going to disgrace you. Holy Mary. Have I made myself point clear? You flat. Don't flat around a reverend father anymore. When she came to put up that drama at the church, I didn't take her so serious until she came to confront me. Can you imagine that? I have already said it, that that sister has suspicious character. I'm just so ridiculous, I don't even know what to say. A reverend sister coming to warn a kid to stay away from a young father. Can you imagine coming to warn me? Eh? As if, as if, as if he's her husband. What even pays me the most was, was that we didn't even discuss anything bad. Seriously, we didn't discuss anything bad at all. Don't mind her. I wonder who even made her a reverend sister. Or if she even knows the meaning of the clothes she wears on her body. Please, my friends, I have to go now, eh? Let's go and talk to my mother. Forget about that sister. Please, please, you all. Have it. Thank you. We call you have this one that will be of very little interest to you. That discussion has to do with the rules and regulations of this action, how we operate here. So you know how we operate and the whole situation. You understand. That's all it is about. Good. Very sad. You can pick up from there. Uh, thank you, Father Zaya. Father Ting. In this parish, we do not permit a priest to interact with anything in the at all. And you are not supposed to be seen with a lady or a woman in your apartment. The only ladies that can enter your apartment are the men, the sisters of this church. Another thing is, here in this parish, only the reverend sisters are permitted to call you. Last but not the least, on no account will you be seen in the village, both on the Lord or in someone's house, except you are on an errand of the parish by us or the bishop. As you can see, you just have to obey these rules and regulations, and there won't be any problem with us. That's it. I have everything you said. 
Question? Yeah. All right. Feel free to ask me any question. Good. Who cooks for Reverend Fathers in this parish? Um, Father, we normally do that. But since you came, we are stopped from doing that. <laughs> well, I, I know in some parish they, they have special cook. Yeah. And in some seminarians like you, equally cook. Yeah. Yes. Um, that's all I just want to okay, come fine. from. It's okay. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Peace of the Lord be with you. Thank you, Father.
father. Forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. They need deliverance. Oh, deliver them, Father. Jesus. As I walk out this evening, filled with the Holy Ghost, I discover that this community is in great captivity. They need God's intervention. So I, I decided to hold a deliverance mass, where by the grace of God, the sick will be healed. The lame will walk, and the blind will see, and the people will give their life to Christ. Enough! Enough of that rubbish! What have I said that is wrong, Father? Everything. I mean everything. All that nonsense you have been vomiting. Listen, young man. Young man, listen now. As far as I remember the head priest in this parish, nothing like that will happen. As simple as that. I have spoken. This is very strange. A healing mass prohibited in a parish. What then are they preaching? Are they really sure that it's God they are worshipping? My God, I need you to see me through these trials. among us. Imagine such nonsense. He has come to show us that he has power more than us. Look at the whole me, Father Isaiah, mm. head priest of the parish, being told what to do. In a parish, my father has left up to build in years. Incredible. We must not sit down and watch him rain us before he does that. Mm. We must rain him first. That is the point. Before he pours mud on us, we will be rubbing with shit all over the body. All over the body. We must show him powers. I mean, stronger powers. Eh? Mbak. Shake and the 
she will run away. She will run mad. Who is she? I want to spoil your matrimonial home. I go and take your husband. Get it. Come and take it. I shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be the first in your class in the name of Jesus. Who is that evil uncle who is spoiling your brains? Hey! I correct your brains in the name of Jesus. I correct your brains in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be corrected. Hey! This is well. To put them away, my finger. Carry this mark. No one shall trouble you. Go and be first in your class in the name of Jesus. Go. I want to get you to test the power of the name of Jesus. Don't forget to give me your name. Hey, believe me, Rick. Everyone wants to steal your man from you. She will not succeed. She will acquire the mark of Christ. Chidera, in the name of Jesus, I will have recorded it. That man, that man, that spirit of doubting Thomas is out of him. As soon as he sees you, he takes over you. Go and be a married woman. Go. Go this right now. I will come and be a married woman. Go. What is this? Out. 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 You can be bound in the name of Jesus. I, I declare and I destroy that evil bias. You shall not be bound in the name of Jesus. Take your pregnancy in the name of Jesus. Lady, go and meet your man tonight. You shall come back to the support of your children. Go. If I sorrow, if I be sorrow, sure you I'm a man. Look at your own. I can't get my own. In the name of Jesus, be the head. Go and make sure you do your confession. Go and you get it. You be the best of your kind. You and this world, that's the world you just of the Lord. Is it true? Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hey, you can I can How long has it been with you? Hey, you are Jesus. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You this young man was in born like this. I'm back to vision of the Holy Ghost upon your life. You, man, you are delivered from this. You are delivered from this oppression. Be delivered from this oppression in the name of Jesus. Do you believe that you're not going home with these crutches? You're not going to go home with these crutches in the name of Jesus. You are safe already. In the name of Jesus. When I get a you are. It's in my subcuche. 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 To put them away in my finger. To put put away in my finger. As it you move, 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 as 
See her now.
that is the main reason God called them to set the captives free from those oppressed by the devil. Okay? Yeah, so um, you just have to make sure you attend money evening mass. I will try. Don't fail the masses. Okay? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, Edwin, Edward, Father, have I said anything wrong? You see, the devil could come in different forms and shapes. But most importantly, never you allow it overcome the fate of God in you. Okay? Have a nice day. God bless you. Kwala can do a you won't believe what I just saw. Did you see that? Talk to us. Hey! Did you see Lucifer? Talk now. It should have been better if I saw Lucifer now. That small girl. I saw Reverend Father Tim coming out from Felicia's house. What? Are you Are you sure of what you just wait, said? Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure of the person you saw? Uh -uh. I don't understand you, people. Just believe me. I am sure of what I saw. Or have I gone blind? Eh? Wait a minute. Eh? Oh God. So this girl has succeeded. Oh. Eh? So she has succeeded? No. She has not succeeded. She has not. She has only temporarily succeeded in bringing shame to herself. Ah? No. So that tiny whip thinks she can spank an elephant like me. <laughs> eh? Because of this. Because of this. <laughs> okay. No problem. Eh? No problem. Trust me, what I can do. Do something, eh? Are you begging me to do something? No, no, she can't no, do it and get it all. Farati, we are about to bring shame upon this parish. It has come to the point where you go around the village and sleeping with the members of this church. Holy Mary, Mother of God, are you trying to deny it? Just look at it. Let me tell you something. Doing it is one thing, and denying it is another. Yes. Eh? So. Respect this Kasakia William and stop disgracing our mother Mary. Hmm. Let me tell you, I will personally report you to the bishop for bringing shame on this parish and the Catholic community. See, he walks out on us. So, this body has grown so many wings that he wants to fly over us. Over us. I know what to do. Something must be done. Eh? What can mother be? Eh? How can they be? One way I'm not going
Sister Mary, how are you? I have gone through a lot within my short stay in this parish. It's becoming more frustrating. My sister, I don't know. Eh? I don't know. I can't even pray the way, the way I want. I, I, I can't even know healing mass is conducted in this parish. In fact, I, I can't even go anywhere. I, I'm beginning to wonder if these people truly worship God at all. against me to report to the bishop. Never mind. I will, I, I, I will talk about it tomorrow, okay? I, I have to pray now, okay? I'll talk about it tomorrow.
I have seen those marks. Those four marks represent a very dangerous one. And let me tell you, I am Onyoma, the son of my father, Madu. He sent me to come and see those marks. And as I'm talking to you, those marks represent the king. Ori, Mpo, Afro, what? And who wrote those things on my doorstep? Those marks I just saw in there can only be written by the oracle of this land or the chief priest. Onukochuku, it is a very dangerous mark, a very dangerous warning. I don't know what is going around this place, but I must tell you the truth. Odinjo. Okay, thank you very much, sir. May the peace of the Lord be with you and your family always. Kamlaba. This morning, and I saw four native marks written on my doorsteps in a white chalk. When I made an inquiry, I got to understand that it has to do with the oracle of this land. Paratim, like you rightly said, the mask will only have been written by an oracle. Then what is the reason of writing it? There is an invitation for you to go and pay homage to the oracle of the land. That's what applies to those who come in here for the first time. Yes. Me? A Roman Catholic priest. Pay homage to a bloody, bloody oracle. You see, that's my problem with you. You claim to know too much when you know nothing. Eh? That equally applies to any stranger who is coming here with evil intention or bad mind. What I say? What, what is all this you're saying? What's the meaning of this? Like I told you. You have to go and pay homage to the oracle. Or you face the wrath. Or better still, the oracle will visit you by himself. That will be dangerous. You can go. Oh, 
I thought you had something reasonable to say. I can see you don't. What I've just said is reasonable and important to me. I hope God will just open your heart so that you will understand what I'm saying. Concentrate on me. I, uh, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't understand that kind of statement. Yeah? Can you talk like that? What have I done wrong? Thank Is it bad that I, 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 I am taking care of a reverend father posted to this parish? I don't blame you. I might be getting old for you now. That's why you're going for the young priest. But one day, he will get old where I am now. He will get old. Yes, I don't understand you at all at all. Anyway, I don't even blame you. Uh, pretend you don't understand. I, I, I blame myself for giving myself to you so cheap. That's why you think I can give it to anybody anyhow. Mm. Is that the way you put it? You see it? Go for him. But I swear I will deal with the two of you. Two of you.
Faratim, you need not tell me what Uma Bale community looks like because I already know. <laughs> and I also know that Father Isaiah being from that community, we behave that way. And there will be no godly activity in that parish. No. That is why I sent you there. Because I know that as a vibrant and charismatic Reverend Father, they are going to make a difference there. But, Your Lordship, this is more than I can handle. Because it is practically a war between me and the community. It is not so. It's not a war between you and the community. Because the angels are there. You are not alone. You are not alone. And remember what the Bible said. That uh, we can do all things through Christ Jesus. Who strengthens us. So all the angels are there to protect and guide you. My Lord, my Lordship, I, I can still remember everything very well. But, but nothing, Father. Nothing, Father Tim. All you have to do is to be more prayerful. To be more prayerful and to be mentally and spiritually alert and apply some wisdom in your way. That's all you need. Thank you very much for your words of encouragement. Hey, hey you! Oh, stop there! Hey. So you thought you could escape us, eh? Mm -hmm. You thought you could escape us. Mm. This is the last time we are going to warn you concerning this issue. You stay away from Father Tim. Have you heard? But I have nothing to do with him. He just stayed. Hey. Ah. Oh, you are even talking bad at her, eh? Listen to me. The next time I see you anywhere near Father Tim, if I ever see you around Father Tim, next time you feel more pain than this. Is Father Tim around? Is he in the house? No. Um, he left the parish a few minutes ago. He's, he's not around. Oh, okay, it's okay then. I'll just call him. Eh? Eh? No, 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 no. You ah. don't do that. It's not permitted in this parish. You can call him from here. No, not at all. It's okay, sisters. I'll call him when I leave. Thank you, sisters. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, that's a very place. Yeah. 
Is it that thing? Is it that thing? Homage as the oracle demanded. He refused. That boy is stubborn. I wonder what is giving him confidence. But I'm going to show him I am more stubborn than he is. Can you imagine for a team telling me to my face that he would not do it? To my face? Then what do you intend to do? I am still planning. Yeah. I am plotting. By the time I'm through with him, he will come and beg me to go and pay homage to the oracle of my father's land. Yes, I trust you. I know what you can do. That's why you're like this. Let's continue. That's why you're like this. I'll go look for a veil and cover my face while walking around this community. <laughs> Are you not ashamed of yourself? <laughs> Why should I do that? Just take a good look at me. I am more beautiful than you are, so I think you should be the one to cover your ugly face with a veil. Yes. See who is talking. Look at her. See who is talking. Just pray that the Pope finally passes the law of Reverend Father's getting married. In that way, he might be saved. <laughs>
There's something that's going on in the parish and we thought you should know about it. What is it? Father, there's this girl that has been visiting Father Tim. Her name is uh Love It. Good. Love It. Father, that is her name. Father, she comes to visit Father Tim every day. Sometimes even twice the same day. Mm -hmm. She even sleeps in his room, Father. As we speak, she might even be in his apartment right now. <laughs> mm. Is that why the two of you left your duties? To come here in another gossip? Eh? Let me advise you. Go back to your office and face your duties. But, but Father... I said go back to your office and face your duties. Leave my office. We told them we should let him. But father, I said go to your office. Go and fix your duties. Face of God. 
Yeah. Before it gets out of hand. All right. The Lord will see you through. You only really need him to see you through all these challenges. disappointed in you. How could you? How could you be keeping a girl in this parish? And who is this girl if I may ask? Love it. The girl that always comes here to visit you. Love it. There's nothing can kind of between Love it and I. Well at least she's not your girlfriend. What is she to you? Why is she always coming here? It sounds so irritating when you use that word, girlfriend. And since when did I become this ungodly, keeping a girlfriend? Look, please stop, stop using such intellectual word. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leave! Leave before I strike an angle of God upon you! 